Hello, this is Adventurous Man. Uh, this is the second video in a series of videos to catch up with what I've been doing. Um, now I'll show you how I sort of what I've done to make uh, that washer cell to make hydrogen. I'm trying to uh, do something about it so I can show you some results about that at the moment. However, I've sent my uh, charging unit off uh, to a friend who needs it to charge up his batteries to sell his car. Um, hence, I don't have a power supply that is strong enough with enough amperage uh, to run the cell neat at 13.8 uh, volts. Um, the fact the battery I've got is discharged, it's run at about 8 volts and it brings it down to about 4 to 3 volts. <laughs> Still get around about uh, somewhere between 20 to 30 amps though, but it's uh, no, nowhere near as impressive, so we'll just have to wait. Anyhow, since I don't have a, a, a reliable power supply, I had to make one. Now, after watching some YouTube videos, I came across something that Sir Hoax did and came across, and that is converting an ATX power supply. A power supply that runs your computer, uh, how to convert it into a lab supply. Now, hers is a lot more neater, um, classier, and everything else like that, but mine does all the same things his does, really. Okay, now, we, all I did is I just snipped the wires off, kept the wires, and instead of drilling the holes and um, putting in the posts and everything else like that, which is, to be honest, probably the safest thing to do, really, um, as I left mine free floating like this, so I can, you know, I've got some movement and everything else like that, I may eventually uh, do the safe thing and put them onto post or something like that. Uh, at the moment, for me, this is the easiest way to do it. I just bundled all the wi same wires together, um, and did a couple of other things. Now, how did I figure out how to do this? It was not because I'm smart and know all, all the uh, ins and outs of the ATX power supply. I did exactly what Sir Hoax did, and that is uh, go to WikiHow, okay, to the site, and then I put in a search for ATX power supply. Uh, it came up with about eight different um, possibilities. I picked this one, how to convert a computer ATX power supply to a lab power supply. There's one for variable voltage as well, however I think if I remember rightly the maximum um, amperage output is around about 1.5 amps. Well I wanted something a lot gruntier. As it is, going by the specs, at 12 volts, which is the yellow wire, I'm able to get a maximum of 6 amps. Not much, but 5 volts, I can get a maximum of 20 amps. Now that is hot stuff, that's pretty powerful. Okay, and orange, I've got 3.3 volts, and I've even got minus 5 and minus 12 volts at much uh, smaller amperage ratings. So I've got the possibility there if I needed it. Okay, now, to drive this thing, you need a load. As part of, part of the thing, and let's sh show you it going. Prove that it goes. I've got a 20 watt, um, 12 volt car bulb there. Okay, and there she goes. I've got a 5 volts there. Not too bright. Well, that's what you'd expect because it's a 12 volt rating. Okay, so let's put. 12 volts across it. And, ah, oh, come on, you little sucker. There she goes, bright, just as you'd expect. Uh, Got to be careful. Now I'm doing this all left handed, I'm actually right handed. Go figure, eh? Okay. There she goes, bright as. And you can hear that the power supply is labouring, starting to work, and it works. And I've even got 3.3 volts. Right? Ah, oh, 3.3 volts. So let's get this 
sorted 3.3 volts there she goes nowhere near as bright but then remember this is a 12 volt bulb so it works works really well uh, I've had it going a couple of times especially at 3.3 volts uh, with my washer um, uh, cell simply because the lower the voltage the lower the amperage uh, I didn't want to try it at 5 volts because I'm not sh I'm pretty sure it'll go over at the 20 amps in fact I've proven that before so anyhow that's my new power supply and I'm really proud of that. I've got another computer so I can get a s I'll be able to make a second one I'll be able to have uh, I'll be able to put on double the voltage or double the amperage rating if I require it. Now that is really strong. Bear in mind now that this isn't a real lab supply unit um, simply because a real lab uh, power supply unit is heavily regulated uh, whereas this isn't hence the reason why if you get surges and stuff through the power line it causes your computer problems and you wouldn't necessarily have that sort of problem with the power supply in most cases um, also bear in mind this is extremely dangerous because you're dealing with two well in my case 240 volts because I'm in New Zealand uh, overseas where you guys are most likely 120 volts gotta be very careful uh, has all the uh, has all the warnings and everything there on the website itself okay so please be very very careful see as you can see the post and everything else like that now if you want to do this safely it's probably best to do exactly as, as they've done it there okay just for your own safety well better yet get somebody who knows what they're doing to do it for you perhaps I don't know I'll leave that up to you just be very very careful anyway great having these alternatives and I'll leave you to it this is adventurous man out